Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amartya Rupani, and in today's video, I am going to talk about the technical exams for your PH license, and I'm also going to give you a tip to get exempted from these exams. So without wasting any time, let's just start. There are three possible outcomes that you can get based on the assessment by Academic Requirement Committee, and those are A, B, and C. And let me explain those to you one by one. Okay, so the first outcome is A, which means the applicant has met the academic requirements and can go for the next step. But most of the time it happens only when you have a degree from inside of Canada, that means you have degree from Canadian Institute, then you will get outcome A and you can go for your next step. But in most of the cases, if you have degree from outside of Canada, then you will get outcome B, which means you haven't met academic requirements and you will have to write technical exams which is also called confirmatory exams and outcome c means you haven't met the requirements for png application at all now in the decision if you have received outcome b that means you will have to write technical exams which is also called confirmatory exams as i said so you will be assigned four technical exams in total so the passing marks for each exam is at least 50 percent and you must achieve the average of technical exam marks at least 55% altogether. And if you fail two out of four assigned exams, then they will assign you other 18 exams in order for you to meet the academic requirements. And that is called Discipline Specific Exams Program. But in some cases, they might call you for the interview instead of assigning these exams to prove your technical skills and work experience requirements. But the good news is, if you are assigned with exams, then they have a policy which is called Good Performance Review, which says if an applicant writes two technical exams at the first sitting and achieves a minimum average of 65% in both exams with no marks below 60% in each exam, then you can get exempted from the other two exams. That means you don't have to write other two exams anymore. You can get exempted from one exam out of four if you pass three technical exams in two exam sittings and you achieve 60% or more in each technical exam. You can also meet third criteria in this policy. If you attempted two exams in the first sitting but failed one, then you may still qualify for a good performance review and can get exempted from one exam out of four. If you pass failed exam with marks of 70% or higher and achieve 60% or higher in third exam that you write in second sitting. Now there is time frame for you to write your technical exams in order for you to get your PNG license. So the academic year of uh, PEO starts from September 1st and ends at August 31st. And you must write your first exam within the two academic years after getting letter from uh, PEO. And once you start your exam program, then you must write at least one exam in each academic year. And the total time frame for you to complete your four assigned technical exams is eight years but if you're assigned 10 uh, i mean 18 exams then you will have 10 years to complete those guys i just wanted to give you a tip if you are assigned 18 exams which is also called discipline specific exam program and of course it is not an easy job to pass all of these exams but you still have option to get exempted from these 18 exams once you get a job in canada and achieve four to five years of experience in your field as an engineer then you can write a letter to PEO saying that uh, you have got work experience in Canada and you can prove your technical skills through interview instead of writing those 18 exams I'm saying this because they have made exceptions in the past with other candidates and their exams got waived uh, by the interview okay guys so that's pretty much it for today and if you have any questions please let me know in the comment box i would be more than happy to answer them as soon as possible and if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe my channel because there is a lot more coming up for you guys till then you take care and i'll see you again